um, <laughs> run one was um, really tough. Um, I think it was good that we um, we didn't lose, um, but it's still an empty feeling. But I think there's heaps we can learn from in the second half of the game, but I'm really looking forward to round two. I think they all are my rivals. They're all defenders. <laughs> um, but I think playing against Shani, um, I think I'll have to keep a steady focus on my game and not get caught up in whatever she's doing out there. Um, she's, she's an amazing player and she'll do whatever it takes for her team to win. And I'm definitely looking forward to the challenge and I'll do whatever it takes for my team to win too. I think um, with Shani, um, she brings a lot of excitement to the game. And I think the more we compete against each other, it's the, we get to know each other's game a little bit more. So we try to expand and grow higher in the game. But um, I think playing against Shani Layton, you have to be, um, I guess, your head screwed on for the whole um, 60 minutes of the game and not um, have any laps because that's where she'll um, catch you off guard and just take advantage of you. Um, I think all over the court, they've got a lot of um, experience, but that doesn't really say anything. Like you can look at the game they played against Vixens. I mean, Vixens is one of the youngest team in the competition and they will be taking a lot out of that game. But I think for us going up against them, we just need to work on our individual games and um, collectively as a team. And it showed that we took us a while to get into um, the game on Sunday, but eventually we got there and we just try to work hard at what we're doing out there on court and then eventually we'll fall into place and hopefully we can just pick up where we left off from. 